Hey, welcome back. Today we're checking out Far Cry 6. We're going to see how well it works on ultra wide, super ultra wide, and 1440p resolutions. In this first test, we're using ultra settings and the 3440 by 1440 resolution with FSR turned off. On the left, you can see the undervolted run, and on the right, the stock run. Okay, so let's move on. We've enabled FSR ultra quality and we're getting pretty much the same FPS as before. But we're not here to guess, are we guys? So let's jump straight into the charts and have a closer look at the results. First things first. In addition to the average FPS from the benchmark, we also played Far Cry 6 for roughly 30 minutes with each unique setup. We captured the average FPS and 1% lows for each session. We also kept track of the average temperature and power consumption during these gameplay sessions. From what we can tell, it seems we're hitting a CPU limit in this game. Regardless of whether we overclock, undervolt, use FSR or go vanilla, our FPS count tops out at 100. This clearly indicates that we're bound by CPU power when playing at 1440p ultra wide resolution. We also notice that our 1% lows stay relatively consistent across all tests. Having seen these average FPS figures, it's time to shift our focus to the power consumption and temperature data. When we enable FSR, we won't be getting more FPS. Instead, we're reducing power draw and temperatures across the board. Given these results and those we obtain regarding average FPS, it makes sense to enable FSR and undervolt our GPU. This way, we will achieve the same performance at half the power draw and the GPU's temperature will be significantly lower too. Now let's move on to testing the game at 1440p super ultra wide resolution. Now we're running the benchmark tool again, but this time at 1440p super ultra wide resolution. On the left side we have the results from the undervolted run, while on the right side we're using stock settings, both sides with FSR disabled. We're no longer hitting that 100 FPS ceiling we previously observed We've now enabled FSR Ultra Quality and run the benchmark again. As you can see, we're back to that 100 FPS cap and the GPU usage has dropped below 90%, which might suggest we're CPU bound once again. Let's take a closer look at the charts with all the data to better understand what's happening. When FSR is disabled and we aren't CPU bound, we can see that overclocking provides an additional 5 to 6 FPS compared to using stock settings. However, when we undervolt the GPU, we lose around 4 FPS. Once FSR is enabled, it doesn't really matter much whether we overclock or undervolt, as we'll be achieving the same average FPS figures. As expected, with FSR disabled, the power consumption spikes up to 215 watts when we use stock settings, and 227 watts when we overclock. If we opt to undervolt, we're still able to achieve great performance while only consuming 137 watts. It seems that undervolting with FSR enabled is the way to go here. This approach allows you to achieve the full 100 average FPS cap while consuming just 124 watts, and also helps in keeping your GPU temperatures on the lower side. Now let's move on to 1080p ultra wide. You know the drill, on the top side we have the results from the undervolted benchmark and on the bottom side we have the stock settings, both with FSR disabled. In the charts, as usual, we'll also include the results from overclocking. Now, here we have the exact same configuration, except that this time FSR ultra quality is enabled. If we were already CPU bound at 1440p ultra wide, I can hardly imagine just how limited we're going to be now. Let's give the benchmark a second and have a look at the results. And as expected, we're CPU bound across the board. The RTX 4070 Ti seems to be overspec for playing Far Cry at 1080p ultra wide, which kind of makes sense. Let's take a look at the power draw charts to see how much power we'll need to play this game with our GPU undervolted. Okay, so this is great. Look, just 81 watts are needed if we undervolt and enable FSR. And the temperatures? 
it's 48 degrees. I mean, that's just five degrees above idle temperatures for me. Now you're seeing the 1440p footage. I was considering going through the results, but it just doesn't make sense. The CPU is going to bottleneck the RDX 47 tie, and you'll be hitting that 100 FPS cap. So, to wrap things up, if you plan on playing Far Cry 6, undervolt your GPU. Even if you're going to play at 1440p super ultra wide, you'll only lose a couple of FPS compared to stock, but the power draw will decrease significantly. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment. I mean, it took me forever to make this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.